again welcome back to my channel my name is Deborah in this section we are going to be looking at teens and self style if you are new to my channel please this is part three of this section of this series we are looking from part one to part two to part three so you can go down and watch except for beginners part one except for beginners part two so that you can progress with us thank you once again so in this section we're going to be looking at teens and cell style teens and cell style now when you go to your page layout you will see so when you go to your page layout you see the things there yeah? when you go to your home tab you are going to see cell style so this is basically for cosmetic purposes or for cosmetic reason you want to beautify your text and make it look good so you can select this this is this is header right this is header except for Nigeria is header so i'll just come to my cell style and choose my header i can choose header one heading two heading three or heading four whatever it is i can choose heading one and date names and the location seems like i can say they are heading two so i'll just select them and apply heading two so hello I think it's looking nice right it's looking pretty nice so now in my cell style i want to format this so i want to add colors and beautiful um things to it so i'll just select all of this i could go to this place and apply i like white colors i'll just choose this i can come here yeah select this and maybe apply um a different color let me apply a different color look I like this so okay I need to apply a different color all right so maybe I should go with this so let me move right because you can see it's right now when you go to your page layer how about you want change of things you want to see how um those colors can change with office theme just come to your things here you can see your office theme you can see other things so as you hover your mouse you can see that the colors are changing you understand wow this is beautiful the colors are changing so this is basically for cosmetic reasons oh i think i like which one do you like okay i think i like this uh, so basically it changes the, it formats the cell you can see the cell style changed right it's the the font changed the background changed and that is it so but there's a difference between thin colors and standard color if you come here you will see that every of those team has standard color look at standard color look at this standard color. now standard colors does not change when you go to your page layout and try to apply themes standard color does not change so let's try standard color with this center text or center cells let's see let's apply standard color all right okay so let me choose this standard color so let's go to a page layout and see what happens if they changes or not so you can see nothing changes it's the only size it's only the size that changes of course there's no change in the font there's no change in the cell color you can see nothing changes but other ones change changes other ones changes so this is basically how to apply things and cell styles now if you want to clear or delete cell style all you need to do is to select this go to your home tab you can see the cell style and apply normal see it has changed it has changed so the cell styles are gone so how about if you want to create your own cell style you want to create your own style just select this or better still you can leave it just come to cell style that's a new cell style just click on it and name your style i will name my style debbie rose now what do i want to do you can see cell style include by examples number alignment font 
border and rest if i don't want border i can just uncheck this but this is what sells time clues so i'll just come here and click my format why are you taking time yeah click my format i'll just come to let's come to font and font i can just say okay i want some um, which color do i want my font to be I also want my font to be green and the size to be maybe 12. I can come to say okay with my border, outside border. I can decide to make my outside border thick or maybe dotted lines. You can see what I did. Just click on any of the lines under this tie and apply it. Yeah. So this is how I want mine to look like. So few which color do I want to be in the background. I can come here and see um yellow. Oh, this is not going to look good, but let's see how it goes. So I can just say okay. Come here and click okay. So how do you see it? Go back to your search time. Look at the one we just created. It's not that bad it's not that bad right so i can decide to apply let me control z i can decide to apply it in all the cells let's see how it looks like oh this is not looking fine so i'll just um, control z it and maybe apply it in in not all the cells so So this is this is basically how to create your own cell style this is just for examples you can try your own out so i've told you how to delete cell style just select this the cells where the styles are and go to this and click normal choose normal and everything comes back to normal now what else do we plan to look at we're going to look at borders 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 now in excel borders are basically used to like make text or cell stand out maybe in i want the names to stand out or maybe in a spreadsheet or in a maybe uh, an invoice you want the cost to stand out how do you apply border you can just select um, all the cells come to your borders you can see bottom border top border left you can just go through them or all borders uh, if i click all borders see what will happen take this away you can see them let me zoom this you can see what happened right so i just entered border there how about if i want to make this the name the, the cells here to be the border here to be more thick i'll just select them i'll just select and go to my tick and just tick you can see you can see what happened now there's another thing i wanted to note maybe you want to draw border by yourself or you want to erase border you can consider erasing border let me erase this border erase this this is basically how to erase border maybe i want to erase this too maybe i want to erase this too I want to erase this too. Right. I just want to erase this one. How about I want to draw border by myself? I want to draw um my kind of border. What I want, I can just come here and say okay. Let me draw border here. You see, I just drew a border there. I can undo that and maybe choose a particular line of particular line style maybe let me, I need dotted lines dotted lines so I can just choose dotted line and apply dotted lines here you can see so this is basically how to use borders and you can choose your line color you can choose line color so maybe I should choose um I can decide to choose what color should I choose maybe I can decide to choose this color 
so yeah i can decide to choose i've chosen a color so this is maybe i should just you can see the colors are changing they're all changing i can decide to you see but the color and the line style that i choose have changed so that is basically how to apply borders and um and so once you can choose to erase your border by using eraser erase border or you can choose erase border and erase this or better still you can select this let me undo this i just did no border so you can just go to no border and you erase all the borders in your worksheet so this is basically how to use borders now maybe i should just let you know the shortcut to erasing a border or adding a border instead of going all the way here to add the border you can just use your ctrl shift plus your your up and sand up and sand is this up and sand or if you are using mac you can just use command plus option plus zero this is basically what we're going to be learning in this section thank you once again for checking my channel thank you once again for learning please do subscribe do like this to encourage your guests to continue making a post see you in the next class